I got an idea. So, uh, can we make a, when you guys make a different beer, can we name it Victor's Flip Flops? Yeah. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like, like, a, like yeah. a summer pilsner or something. Yeah. yeah. Something La Chancla. La Chancla. La Chancla de Victor. Yeah. No. La Chancla de Victor. We could name it anything else. That's beautiful. Uh, Cologne. I, like that. I might name that, that mango coleslaw. La, La Chancla de Victor. <laughs> So, thank you guys for coming on to another episode of Drunk in Public. It's actually our second episode, and you guys are our second guest. Hey. So, you guys are covering all of the bases. Yeah, Strange yeah, brew. I'm trying to hang out with <laughs> my glasses. But yeah. What are you drinking? This right here? <laughs> we found the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> we finally found the fruit. No, this is a pineapple sculpin from Ballast Point. Yeah. So, we were going to get the, they had the clown shoes, pineapple yeah, space, space cakes. cakes. Yeah. We were going to get that one, but he was like, I'll be honest, man, you don't really get as much of the pineapple flavors as you, you would want to get, you know? Yeah. And so I was like, man, we need something with pineapple because looking for it. before we you know where to fruit. Yeah. Hashtag where to fruit. Yeah, I mean, this one's supposed to have pineapple in it. It's like guava and pineapple, but it's like, I have like that IPA flavor afterwards, you know? Is that the guava good? Like, what no, is that? this Hawaiian the... Roadrunner. Hawaiian Texas. Roadrunner. It's a good name. Tropical in Texas. I, actually I know. Like, I actually like the can. It's got like a little Roadrunner on it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I wonder if that's marketing to like, uh, not marketing, uh, we were talking about trademark earlier. I wonder if they just still alluding to his trademark with the Roadrunner. Should have done that. Should have done that. Oh, this is actually actual a real Roadrunner. Oh, a real one, like the yeah. little ugly bird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The little, <laughs> little ugly bird. <laughs> not the, not the, not the, the cart. Not the cute meat meat. I was thinking the meat meat, like meat meat. They go to the coyote. What are you drinking? This is by Intrinsic. It's the wheat with, man, I think it's, Hibiscus wheat. Oh, okay. Biscuit I think I saw that one earlier. Biscuit Biscuit Is that the barbecue place in yeah. Garland? Mm hmm. Okay. okay. What's that's, their, where, what? that's where they're doing the bottle share next time. Yeah, 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 I'm going to go there. That. I'm going to bring my little uh, North Texas oh, beer. Yeah, 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 Jerry. He was really nice, man. Yeah, yeah. We met him at uh, Taps and Caps when we were there before. And yeah. He like he walks, hey, are you guys down Spew Talk? Like, I follow you guys. And he's like, tries to get everybody together, like, I guess. Well, too. we met up. Before. We didn't know what he looked like. So we were just walking around the room. So we went to another bottle chair yeah, for, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what is it, the beer squad? That was Dallas 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 beer squad. squad. I was talking to her, I'm like, I don't know what he looks like. Mm -hmm. And Adrian was like, well, just, I don't know. Because he's all about beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, so what do you, what, so we all know what he looks like, right? Yeah. So what are you guys trying to picture in your head? I don't even know. Just be honest. I don't know. Looking uh, for I was, a, I was thinking a white, white boy. White hipster <laughs> with a long beard. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a white beard. Yeah. Had is that a corn, racist? Had a corn no, cup it's pie. not. I think, I think, I think so. it really goes in with like what the industry looks like, you know, True. the majority. So that's what you think. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, Latino and black. black Even beers. when brewing, like, we make beer together, but everybody talks to everybody. You know, and it's just like, you know, I know about the brewing process too. You know, that's why I give you props for the uh, coffee. Yeah, I'm like, coffee, don't let uh, this fresh voice fool you. Like, I know what the fuck is happening. I'll ferment, you know, I'll yeah. pitch the, gra the, the yeast, yeah, everything. I'll make some good ass pork. Okay. Pork. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, I mean, yeah. It's just the way the industry looks. It's well, be. that's why we need more. Uh, we don't need more, but it would be nice to have more ethnic people for different flavors. Yeah. We, like, we can put those candies in yours. Yeah, yeah, that's a Latin thing. It's a Mex especially a Mexican thing. It is. The hibiscus or whatever. It's Jamaica. Like, we drink it all the time. I drink it all the time. Mm -hmm. It tastes mm -hmm. just like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like Jamaica. So they're like, oh, this is like a pro flower. I've never heard of flower tea. And I'm like, I drink that all the time. Like, this is great. I name some weird shit all the time. I'm like, that's not the name of it. And then I come to find out I'm the one that's wrong. I'm like, all right, well, fuck me then. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, true. There's a guy, his name's... Uh, or his, at least, I don't know his actual name, but his label's called Black Man Brew. Have you used yeah, that? Barrett Tillman. Yeah. yeah he, I, I like that's him. That's the bottle share we went to. Oh, yeah. really? With uh, Dallas Beer Squad, they had him there. Do you have his, have you tried any of his beers? Yeah, his sours. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Beach. I think that's what he's all about. Yeah, he, he, I think he, he's either, 
I think he did it himself. He cultivated like a yeast for mm-hmm. the sour. I think it's a Brett bre- bre- yeast or something like that. Yeah. He's the one that did that. Because he used to work for Deep Bell. Yeah. And he felt like Deep Bell was getting too big, so then he quit. Yeah. And he started just doing his own thing. He, uh, he's called a gypsy brewery. He basically just goes to breweries all around and just brews with uh, different brews. Yeah. Kind of like little. He uh, was at. Like, I saw him at. Um, the Oak Cliff Small Brew Pub. Yeah, he was there. On when the I went 24th to. 24th or the 26th. Well, when I went to go get. That beer from Small Brew Pub, he was there talking to the guys. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I've only seen him on Instagram, but. Yeah, same here. Seems like he's doing cool stuff. So. Did we ever hit him up to uh, meet up with him? No. I don't think we did. So. That's a definite. I mean, I just think it's cool that, like, you have, like, the balls to be like, you know what? I'm really comfortable with what I do, like, as a brewmaster here, but, like, I'm going to do my own thing. Like, yeah. even that comes even, like, as an artist, you know, like, they always talk about, like, you being a struggling artist, but he's just, like, fucking doing it. Like it takes That's like your choices. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, appealing to what we're, kind of what we're talking about before with like the whole side of like selling out or whatever. It's like, you know, you see like what the original vision was and, and everybody's just different, but you know, then he's like, oh, well, I, I see y'all getting really big and I want to go ahead and like move over and kind of make yeah, my own yeah. thing and it's do just it. kind of a keep personal the passion. Choice. Yeah. I mean, I, I, going back to that conversation, I, I kind of do agree with Victor. There is a number and oh, it just yeah. depends on how your brewery's doing. Everybody agrees there's a number. Yeah, there's 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 a number. There's a number saying it. And I don't know. I mean, if your brews are so good, I'm offering you a small nation on the on a, on a Caribbean <laughs> coast <laughs> plus right. two point five billion dollars. <laughs> this is like kind of in context, but also out of. Have you guys seen Sorry to Bother You with uh, Lakeith? Uh, I want to. I oh, want no, no, to. I didn't but it ties in a lot with selling out uh-huh. because what happens? I want to kill like the movie for you, but basically. No, I've seen I've seen so many uh, uh, reviews, reviews about it, it, and I've seen all the actors talk about it for a long time now. So right. I was re- really following it, and I never got a chance to see it yet. You know, and I just really like that, like, his friends are all about the movement and trying to help everybody and the little people, and then, but he gets a chance to, like, move up, yeah. and he's just kind of, like, stuck in limbo, but I don't know what the fuck to do, you know? Like, mm-hmm. There was a number for him. He was like, I don't want to do this, like, my friends are, you know, they're struggling, then they're like, we're going to give you this much, they handed him a paper, and he's like, shit, when do I start? Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, there is a number for everybody. There's always a number for everybody. You know, like, the funny thing about that, I always like it, it's funny, because I've seen it so many times, not to harp on like say it's girls' pro- fault, but I've always seen because I, I grew up with a lot of women and I've always seen women. <laughs> you, say you Google a lot of women. No, I grew up. I grew oh, up. I grew so up. I was like, Wait, what? Why you Google? Sir, I do. What are you about? <laughs> That's what I heard. There's nothing wrong with that. I do either. Google women from was time to time. New York accent. I had to work through. Okay. No, I grew up with a lot of women, and I see it all the time. Well, as a, as a child, I seen it. That's why I don't I don't harp on. That's also why I'm single because I don't listen to a women's opinion on it when it comes to like work. But the what, point I'm trying to make is I've. In the salon, girls like he doesn't work hard enough. He doesn't. He doesn't have any ambitions. Then it flips. Something kicks in his head that he's like, "Yo, I want to keep my girl, so I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna go get this money. I'm gonna go do my thing." Then a year later, his conversation switch. He has no time for me. He works all the time. All he does is care about his work. He doesn't really care about me anymore. It's like, bitch, you want him to work and get to have ambition, but now he has ambition. And now this. Yeah, I mean. No balance to it. Yeah. I think there has to be a balance, and I think it just depends on like you know the morals of the person that you're with. Like, yeah. I mean, like honestly, like our best times in our lives when we were broke, we just like you gotta have some like a ride like, or die, like, you shitty know? shit, you know, together. But it was like fun. We're both going to I like that. I like that. that we ain't shitty shit. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't need caca, but, you know, right? <laughs> but we're like right we there. Very good food. Okay? Yeah, the culinary you know, aspect. The, ra- the ramen noodle nights is what they call that. The ramen yeah. noodle nights. Yeah. No, but you know, like they say, there's like a there's like a, a level between like amount of like of money you earn and how much money you have and happiness. Like it's, there's like a, a certain point where like it meets, and then after that, you just happiness isn't 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 going along with like the increase in pay. Yeah, you know, you know mm-hmm. on a so, real though, like we actually had this like deep conversation. Like, yeah. My dad is like working class, and like he works mm-hmm. so hard, just like. You know, that's what he does. That's his bread and butter. Like, he works. Like, that's a typical Latino man from the first gen- generation. He's first generation here. Mm-hmm. Right? So he knows, like, work ethics, like, Yeah, hard. That's, all, that's what he does. And I'm like, you know, I love that work ethic. And I have really strong work ethic, too. Like, I paid my shit with cash. Like, out of college. I was mm-hmm. like, fuck this shit, you know? But it's like, we want that balance of life. Yes, we're making money, but I don't even want to like, focus Be consumed on like, by that. Money, yeah. Money, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm sure. gonna enjoy my life. Yeah, Cause oh, I yeah. see my father, like he can't get out of that cycle, and I have the privilege to get out of that cycle. You because of the way he works and stuff, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. And it's just like, we have that deep conversation all the time, yeah. and the way like our economy is, and just like with college, and like, 
those stressors of like you have to go to college and then you spend all this money and you end up with debt and it's just oh, yeah. like it's sad man it's crazy we need like New York started doing the free tuition for, yeah. Yeah. for like community yeah. college and stuff like that you know, there's something it's wrong with that, though, man. It sucks. It sucks getting out of school and then you're like, can't either can't find a job and then you don't. No, it's but it's a there's always there's always see, this is a problem where a this is like the where I smoke too much, where I sit there and think about stuff like that too much, and I YouTube too much, I Google too much information, right? Who does this remind you of? Zach Roberts. Yeah, it's classic fucking Zach Roberts. <laughs> Zach That's exactly Roberts. what I was going to say. I didn't want to name. It. I didn't want to call him out, but classic Zach Roberts. Fucking Zach Roberts, Zach. man. He, no, Zach, Zach, Zach's a little, little more like spacey. Yeah, Victor, Victor <laughs> at least seems like he has all the shit together. Like he knows what he's talking about. He's he thinks more like about a lot some crazy, of shit. like wide ranging. Like kind wide of range. Yeah. You have to, so you have to though because you gotta. Well, now you don't have. No one has to think about. You don't have to do anything, right? No one has to do anything. But for me, is I try to understand my position and things and what I yeah, feel about you things. Question things, more, and I have a strong helpful. stance on things. Well, I have too much of a strong stance on things. Like, and I gotta find out why I feel this way. Why do I think this way? So I think about things too much and I focus on things too much. I, I smoke too much. And I Google too much information. And I get sidetracked and I go you care too much. You love too much. Yeah, that's caring and loving group from like what you try to figure out in life, like what, I don't know, I just feel like for me, like my struggles, like I'm a really big advocate of like immigrant rights, I'm an immigrant myself, yeah. I actually came here when I was a year and a half, yeah. you know, and it's just That's like, a big deal for sure, yeah. yeah, like I grew up undocumented, so it's just like I've had like difficulties in my life, so I'm a big like immigrant advocate, and like that's what I love, yeah. also homelessness, like we have a really good friend who was actually homeless at one point. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, like, lets me see different aspects of like, people's lives, you know? I had a big, I had a big oh, conversation yeah. about homelessness. And what do you think about it? Because my feeling is very simple. I don't care. About homeless people? In general. I'm on the edge. My, when I see some of those homeless people, they look healthier than my father. And, like, that, like, hits me because I'm like, dude, my dad is not going to have retirement. My dad's working to the bone, like old school, you know? High blood pressure, stressed out, you know, it has multiple things. So when I see some of those, like, people with the nice shoes, they got a nice ass watch. I'm Dressed better like, than me, yeah. I'm just like, I think about my father, but I also think about veterans and people who were pushed out because of, like, justification or issues, just like in society that they couldn't handle, like, Most people that are homeless are really yeah. But that's, yeah. that's a fact, that's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fact on an aspect that is, but it's misleading on the, the fact is a majority of uh, unsupervised mental um, patients go homeless that's a fact that's a fact but not a majority of homeless people are mentally ill that's not a fact we don't know because we can't quantify that but the fact of the matter is is that we know that people who are pushed out of the system who are mentally unstable mentally unable to be taken care of become homeless that's not who I'm talking about that you they need to they need to fund those programs that help them. That's not talking about as the homeless. You don't care about. The homeless people I don't care about, right? I grew up around. I'm from New York City. Homeless population is tremendous. All right. You should go down to Austin. I've she been there. I, listen, I've been to Austin. <laughs> I've been to San Francisco. I like listen. I don't like San Francisco too because the bum. I think everybody's a bum. Period. In San Francisco, even if you look like you have money in San Francisco, I think you're a bum. Yeah. I just hate that city. I just wanted the city that I just don't have fun there. He's a self. We have a uh, argument all the time. He's a self-hating hipster. That's what he is. He's got hipster inklings, yeah. inclinations, but he's. Uh, I have a very. Doesn't clean, want to come out of the hipster. I'm a five-time shower day kind of hipster. To keep my face clean, kind of hipster. <laughs> Well, you know, so the whole like homeless stuff, like you get the people that are like, you know, the uh, panhandle and stuff. And so, uh, my wife's parents are from Mexico, and they grew up like, you know, like dirt poor, like you know, they worked all day, and you don't really get much out of it, right? And so when they come here, they have an the opportunity to like, the American dream to really like work and actually gain. Some there was of, quotes between that. Yeah, it's American it's dream. yeah, it is what it is. But you know, you can still come here, and that like, what you get paid is way more than what you, even like a crappy job, like you know, like a like a minimum wage job here over there. It's like you get way more money. So her parents were always like, you know, like this person here, like we came here with no papers and we we're able to work and make money and send money back to our family and still people here that like were born here have kind of like a lot of means to actually, yeah, privilege a lot of means to actually do stuff and get, make a, make a living, you know, and they're begging for money, you know, I mean, I, that's how she kind of looks at it and I kind of, I can see that, I mean, 
it sucks because there is a lot of mental health that comes along with that issue, but I don't know, man. You I, see just, the homeless, I see the homeless people with, with cell, cell phones. phones. Yeah. You can pay for that plan. You, you can. It's boost, bro. Come on. Yeah. You can say like two bucks. That's no. thirty bucks. <laughs> you can get some food. You want some Timberlands? I'm wearing some Target shoes. So on that note, on hipster things, the Walmart checks. <laughs> you wear flip flops when you walk out. When you walk out the house. <laughs> Is that a hipster thing? With that. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like he, it. He doesn't, he doesn't like shorts either. He won't never wear shorts. I, I, used to never, like that I put too. that on I me never though. Like, I never like shorts. I'm all about comfort. I put that on me. I, I'm, I'm comfortable right here. Um, like, I'm comfortable with my jeans. I have a friend the same way wears flip flops. He would wear it like through the winter if he could. It was, there was one time. Rig. We, one time whenever. Oh, I was gonna say rig. Yeah, I was gonna say rig. <laughs> one no, time with rig. No. Rig. <laughs> rig, rig. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> one time, oh, same one time thing. we were at the mall and they had these uh, flip flops that had like a uh, like fur on like the like little the yeah, little yeah, yeah. toe part. I got those too. Yeah, I was like, bro, we got you your winter shoes right here. <laughs> so you wear them wherever with the fur, yeah. Yeah, and no, I don't wear them everywhere, and I don't, I don't do it a whole lot. But if I'm just feeling a little lazy, I just toss them. Because they're wrong. It's the summer weather. It's perfect time to wear them. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Yes. This is the shorts too. Shorts. 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 So I, uh, so the shorts things I give, I get away for it because it's hot people and people, their body's different. You regulate temperature differently, right? Jeans, I get hot like everybody else, but it doesn't bother me as much. I don't sweat as much, so I'm not, yeah. oh, I'm not. You do I'm it not, for you do it for the sake of fashion. Yeah, you know, sweat, it hurts to look good. Right it does, but I'm not sitting in fucking swamp ass with jeans on in the summertime. Like I don't have that problem. Yeah. So it is what it is. So yeah. shorts are different. The short, I'm like flip flops. My thing is when you go outside, and this is where I, where I brought up because you said uh, you just threw on your clothes, do shit on. Do yeah. shit on. I, before I got here, I took a shower. I freaking. I got dressed, I laid out my clothes, I laid out what I want to wear, I, had, I took shoes off, I'm like, I want this shoes, this belt, nope, nope, nope. So you end up going with a Gucci belt, I think, right? Always, buddy, <laughs> always, baby. I mean, for me, it's just like, I'm chilling. I'm same, teacher vacation. Same, same. You're that. chilling all the time. I know <laughs> I don't stink, like, I showered last night, I smoked. I know, I, I didn't stink either, I was home all day, I was editing videos from the podcast, from the podcast we just recorded. But you you, you can't shower that much too, where you start to smell like milk. I mean, like no, yeah. towel gets all, yeah. like, no, I have I have 18 towels at the house. My roommate counted. Yo, dog, seriously? Dude, 18 towels you guys ever heard about this? I, I, remember, I remember the shower and thing, but I didn't know he had 18 towels. I have 18 towels. I take a shower. Oh, 18 towels. I, I, 18 showers. I think it's like, what, like three times a day, three times a day? Three to four times a day if I can. But Do you get I, a new towel every shower? Every two showers. Every two showers. Wow. Uh, I'm about yeah. five showers deep on one right now. Nah, every two showers. So I, I have, have anxiety. He's like, what? No, I, <laughs> it's freaking I'm gonna over. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fix that. <laughs> no, I have. So my, you know, you have your your hamper in the bound uh, mm -hmm. the bathroom. Yeah, Ooh. that's full of towels. Yeah. Like, like the first three, just, just towels. towels. The first three racks are just towels, stacks on yeah. stacks of towels. And they have washcloths too. Do you ever? Uh, how are you with your towel game? Do you like have to get the super soft ones? Super soft. Okay, I was gonna super say soft. you don't like jack them from like uh, the, the. No, the, I don't get no cheap. Yo, from, like, the, the you many showers I take a day, man? This has to be super soft. You end up with sores. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that's the, the scrapes from all the micro <laughs> abrasions. <laughs> Victor, why are you so red today? Well, I used a cheap towel for the 15th time. I exfoliated. You said <laughs> I exfoliated. What's that hole? That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know if girls do this, but like when I'm around Jacob, I wear sandals and I'm like relaxed. But when I go out by myself, I gotta wear sneakers. One, I gotta prepare to kick, run, do anything. <laughs> I think walk say, down the street. I won't believe my, my toes. My, car, <laughs> my car ends up on the side of the road. I gotta be wearing shoes. I gotta be prepared. So I wear Doc Martens and some I, well, I'm glad you said it. I didn't want to bring that up because <laughs> this, is, no, well, this is why I don't think men should wear flip flops when you go out. Listen, when you when Next time we're together, I'm gonna wear you yeah, never every know. Every time now. Now every time I'm gonna give you my flip flops too. <laughs> I know I'm safe right now. I'll you know, keep some shoes and socks in the car. I got shoes on. But yeah, well, you with your husband, that's fine. But I the reason why I, this is the point because I way I was way I was raised growing up. Same. Way I was raised, you always gonna prepare for whatever, right? Same. So I grew up with a pen in my pocket. As I got older, I stopped wearing a pen. But even like a couple years, I still wear a regular cheap uh, 30 cent pen, a ballpoint pen. The reason why is because I can stab you in your face. It may not kill you, <laughs> 
But if I put that in your face, you're gonna stop. <laughs> Whatever you're doing. <laughs> they just got PTSD. Yeah. They yeah. just got PTSD yeah. from so, literally. Uh, uh, can we make a, when you guys make a different beer, can we name it Victor's Flip Flops? Yeah. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like like, a, like yeah. a summer Pilsner or something. Yeah. yeah. Some nut wine. Yeah. La Chancla. La de Victor. Yeah. No. We can name it anything else. That's beautiful. Oh, actually, Cologne. I, like that. I might name that, that mango coleslaw. La, La Chancla de Victor. <laughs> Victor's flip flops. No, yeah. we could do better than that. Just slap you in the face, just like yeah. 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 Next Friday, you heard to draw like a picture of somebody getting hit with a chancla. Yeah. Oh. Yep. That's it right there. What That's else right. you want to drink? Did you want anything in particular? Up there to drink? I'm down with whatever. Did you have number six before? The hooray for me? From Collective? They don't she, have she's been food. craving those elixirs from Tops and Caps. But they don't have them. Yeah. 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 No, they're sold out. So often. Where that elixir at? Yeah. <laughs> Even that elixir text list really yeah. comes out. There's nothing else fruity because I was trying to find something fruity last night for my mom. Me and my mom drank some beers. I made her drink some beers because she's not a big. Uh, she drinks beers but like just Coronas. So I made her drink some like beers I could find with fruit. And she's like, every time I was like, Psh, trash. Like, really? Like, all right, thanks, ma. It's highly coveted, ma. Nah, trash. <laughs> trash. Drain, drain pour. It's like everything's a drain pour. So she <laughs> thought she said the fire and a fire hill, whatever that. Um, that fire and funeral. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she was like, I was like, that's the company's name. That's not the. That's not the, the name of it. It's like fire. Why does it taste like fire? I was like, first of all, it's the company. Second of all, what does fire taste like? It's like hot. Your mom always watches the show too. She, yeah. she, she would pick up on it too. No, yeah. I was like, mom, a hot doesn't mean fire. I don't know what you mean right now. It's like it's got sucks. red hots in it or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mm. It's like cinnamon. cinnamon. Good. Yeah. Cinnamon red hot action. Spicy and cinnamon. I yeah. Think I'm gonna do uh, about like a, a a red hot like a red ale. Ooh, come there on. Go. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, bro. I'll, I'll be the creative director, guys. There I'll come go. up with the ideas. You guys make it happen. Some candies in there. Don't right. give that. <laughs> Don't give that to him. <laughs> I think one of the uh, Big Bad Baptists is what I'm thinking. What do you think of Big Bad? Uh, yeah, I haven't had that all the time. Oh, this is the regular Big Bad Baptist. I'm not sure what it is. Triple. The triple. The triple was good. Oh, the cider one. I was thinking about that too. I'll get two of those. I'll get two of those. And then what do you want, bro? Uh, get a tub. I really love how tub. It's uh, like digital system. I walking the dogs the other night, and right there in like the little alley part, like right behind the house, mm -hmm. there was a, a blue pit. Beautiful blue pit. I've I always loved, I always loved like the blue pits. And so I told her like last time, like, hey, we're gonna get it's a blue beautiful. pit. beautiful. Yeah. I gotta show you the picture of the you one. You have a red nose. I think our dogs are mixed with pit or something like that. Yeah, they've got a, they're rat terrier and a pit. Rat terrier? So they got like a rat. One of them has like a really skinny it's rat a, terrier. Like body. we were saying last night with our friends, it's a backyard mix. Yeah. yeah. This one they were just leaving running around the neighborhood. Yeah. Running around the neighborhood? Yeah. Like you didn't tell I was like, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a, uh, a collar. Oh, she's beautiful. I know. Look at that. We found a. Uh, That's beautiful. So did you just, uh, did you yeah, just assume her gender? Yeah. I saw pink. Mm. I assumed. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Can you try this? Oh. Never really thought it. You don't like it? It has an off flavors. Pineapple. Um, uh -oh. There's not enough uh, carbonation in it. I will say. That's what it is. Though. I will say with the sculpin. Oh, what's the cider though, guys? Yeah. Cider doesn't have carbonation. I could put carbonation in my fucking carbonation. Think of it like yeah, apple juice. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's good. Yeah. What'd you go with? Oh, uh, this is collective tropical. Try it. Ooh, it's, it's a sour. It's got a funky little smell. Oh yeah, it's like that, that, that bread, dude. Mm -hmm. It's like bread. I'll take, take my it's third sip now. It's not too sour. It's not too bad. It's kind of like kombucha. Dude. It's like that cheap juice. The cheap you orange juice. That. You a pineapple orange juice. Is the Baptista? Triple barrel. Bro, that smells like... That's true. It smells like just... You know what it smells like to me, right? It smells like a little skank, a little skunk. A little skank? A little skank. <laughs> what was her name? Dirty skank. Who did that to you? Dirty skank. Who did that to you? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's really good. That's a like um, really. You never had the triple yeah. before? That's delicious. Dude, that That's our like, favorite one. <laughs> that was our favorite one. The other had that whole. It doesn't taste like it smells. Like it smells like. Yeah, yeah. super, like, super we boozy. We bought um, some coffee today. Some white rock. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Like coffee house mm -hmm. for stout. Yep. It's got like chocolate notes, and uh, pretty excited about it. I was wondering. So for like the coffee stuff. I was thinking about this, like, does the coffee bean matter as far as for imparting the coffee flavor? <clears throat> you know, it's like, could you do like a run with like Dunkin' Donuts coffee beans from Walmart and to see like, does it really, does it 
really matter? Can you chop them? I was wondering it. Like, you we know. grind them. I mean, it is going to matter as far as taste. Yeah. Because it's going to it's going to have that taste of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Now, if you go to the more true. expensive coffee, it's going to have that. more of that, like richer flavors and stuff. It's going to have more roasted flavor. Yeah. 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 That's what we it depends on the roast too. I think uh, on the smokiness. I, there's a coffee roaster that's not too far from my house on Magnolia uh, in Fort Worth. They're Avoca. I don't know if you guys have heard of Avoca, but they're like a coffee. They do the roaster on beans and stuff. It's pretty, pretty cool little hipster coffee, coffee spot. So. Yeah, I mean, it just changes the flavors, but I mean, it can be really good. I know, depending on like, how big of a batch you guys make, like, how, how much coffee do you guys use? I have to, I have to shoot just into that question. Yeah. It's not a full bag. It's maybe like... Yeah. Oh, like a pound? We do like a coarse grind on it. You don't want to do like a full grind. Yeah, too fine here. Yeah. Go muck everything up. Yeah. We know all about that grind. Yeah, there you go. We yeah. have a bunch of coffee just chilling in here. Drink and chilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do a pour over coffee. And I, I'm, yeah, I, I got the Chemex thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chemex. Chemex is called Chemex. Yeah, Chemex. Mm -hmm. No, so we do uh, Chemex. Uh, I got, I got hit them on. Me and him started it together at work, and then he, we got gifted uh, the lab the the Chemex that he used. And then I bought a whole new set like, to my new job, and I got them onto it. So Kirsty, my old host, she bought a whole set for the house. Did she? Yeah. She, she drinks coffee now. Now she drinks coffee. She used to never drink never coffee. coffee. Now that she chased that Chemex, she's like, oh shit. All about the coffee. Coffee gives me like anxiety on the once I'm like done with it, come with down. the high, I'll oh, come really? down and it gives me anxiety. Have you had a pour over, like a good pour over before? Uh, we get one right across the, the corner from no, me. I'll buy you a cup of coffee and if you don't like it, I'll drink the rest of it. It's just like I love coffee and I, like I love it. I love yeah, I do, it. Because, because ours I are heavier. It, but it's just like when you heavier. get the that come down. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh, we do French press. Uh, okay, yeah. So, so we 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 went through like a whole little. We started out with just doing you know like coffee from downstairs at the, the, the lab, and we started from the cafeteria, and we started doing our own with a French press. Mm -hmm. and so we were doing the French press for a while, uh, and then we started doing with a Chemex, a pour over. So I guess the main difference is that we got from like the French press to the Chemex pour over was you get like a lot less of the bitterness and stuff because the oils and stuff get soaked up in the filter paper that you use. And it's just like a clean coffee flavor, like it's really good. So yeah, so coffee is rated on a scale of uh, clarity and boldness. That's how they scale it. It's only two scales. And so a French press, so we went to two opposite, uh, opposite spectrums, right? So a French press is a zero on the clarity scale and then a five on the bold flavor. So you have all those oils, all those things, that really bold, bitter flavor come through with that. And then then you flip it and we go to Chemex, it's all clarity with one this one um, boldness so it's all the oils all things cleaned out so you don't have any of those, uh, bitter flavors at all if it tastes it's supposed to taste like chocolate it will taste like chocolate you know it's crazy like uh I, I wasn't much of like a creamer like sugar person before anyways but with like the the chemex pour over and we don't even you don't need anything in it it needs no sugar it. you know what i mean what cake i've been on lately of uh, my tea mixing my tea and my coffee together a dirty, uh, it's called a dirty chai. Dirty chai, yeah. And I've been on that kick lately. So I have this uh, peppermint uh, tea at work that I make, and then I make my cup of coffee, and I mix that together. Oh, it's fucking delicious. Mm, I've good. had the only way I've had coffee is with cinnamon in it. We make it's, ours with cinnamon yeah. too. But that's good. But I've never been more experimental. Ooh, what if Hang you start getting like peppermint extracts or dip, uh, dropping it on the ass? I was just thinking yeah. the same thing, bro. Oh <laughs> I don't even like peppermint. You know, no. what other stuff too? Peppermint is supposed to make your stomach feel better, but like it makes me like it does the opposite for me. I'm just like, come on. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, <laughs> turns into like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> don't they call that yerba buena? Yerba buena, yeah, that's peppermint. Mm -hmm. Or that's a, uh, or no, that's a uh, mint. Yeah, mint, mint. Mint, mint, mint. mint, and then peppermint's the other one. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. really good that I drink a lot. So I'm trying to stay away from coffee because I've got, I think I have birds. Oh, like yeah. Really badass reflex. So drinking beer and stuff is great for me, but mm -hmm. yeah, the coffee just makes it. Coffee and chocolate. Coffee and chocolate. Those are the two that I have. You had coffee today, actually. I did have coffee. Now, for some reason, the cold, cold coffee was really like Because of the beers. So, is it the acidity? I guess? Acidity. Yeah. So, the Chemex might actually help with that. It may not help with anxiety. I like cold coffee. <laughs> it may not help with anxiety, but... You still pour a rice. I don't know, though, but... Like, you always end up with... I don't know, though. 
I want to give you what I think because I can, so part of my weirdness about me, Drew knows this a lot from working with me. I may get on these kicks and I'll stay up all night reading and watching video in the background, learning as I'm reading and I'm watching like multiple sources and I'm getting into it. When he gets fixated on something, he's like all in. Yeah, he's so all in. that's how I did about the coffee. So what's your latest fixation? Yeah. Oh, before we go into the uh, uh, my book. Oh yeah, I have a, I have a, I, I know, I can pour in a nice one. I have one at the house. I just finally made what? What is this? So yerba mate. Mate is like a, it's like a really common in, uh, uh, like in uh, Argentina. They drink it a lot. It's basically remember that thing I brought up there to the work one time. Yeah, it has a little metal straw with a little holes in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's a, yeah, it's a, a kick right there. I don't fuck yeah. with uh, there's, Argentina. There's a, there's a, there's a discussion <laughs> between uh, about, like yerba mate and like yeah. the. If it like causes like oral cancer and stuff, like if, I maybe you heard no about one, that. Yeah, there's a debate on that, but no one knows. Because no one knows. You were the one who brought it up at work, and we looked yeah, it up. We looked it up. I mean, it's hard to tell. But you really know what? Sure that's case by case. Listen, listen we don't. Listen, case case you gotta understand. Do not fuck with our tea. I wanna try coca leaves. Yeah, like the leaves. Yeah, you can't buy it here though. A lot of people think. Yeah, but it's only like lab mice. So it doesn't necessarily translate out to. I don't know, but on a happy note, we're going to bring it after this. Well, everybody know what we gotta eat. I'm getting the, the vegan tacos. She's, I'm getting her the thick and morning. I'm getting him the uh, vegan tacos. Yeah. I'm getting you a bacon flight and tenders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chicken tenders. And I'm just going to drink beer. Extra salt. <laughs> <laughs> Extra salt. <laughs> salt bays in the bag. Like, <laughs> salt bays in the bag. <laughs> double it up. He, he never does double that. salt bay, but he's going to double salt bay your stuff. Did he, did he tell you about when we went out there? I had like the super salty fries and chicken mm -hmm. tenders. And we're like, nah, bro, they're all, they're all pretty the same. Okay. And I tried his. It's, it's fancy, still bad. but it's still <laughs> beer. It's still like a bar. So it's yeah. still bar food. Yeah. I got, I got fucked with a bunch of sodium, and I was like, I'm gonna die. Cool. We got the sick in morning, and it was good. Like, our oh, fries yeah. and our burger were good. But yeah, yeah. Mm. His was pretty bad. I mm. felt bad. Mm. I was like, hyping it up, and like, man, they got some good shit here. And then, like, he gets the one thing on the menu that he does. But he got the, we, we, we did have the bacon flight. The bacon flight, he enjoyed. The bacon flight was cool. That was an experience, man. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Was, uh, I felt like I was like at Epcot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, he was yeah, way back I feel like we were at Harry Potter's Wizarding yeah, World, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was magical. It was magical. It was very magical. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. butter beer at Spiral Diner, by the way. Oh, what is that? throw that vegan shade out there. Like, uh, uh. Better beer. Better beer? Better beer. Oh, I think uh, <laughs> Oh, I think you said better. That's what I was saying during shade. I heard better too. Yeah, I think I, they got better. Butter beer, beer sorry, ESL for life. Oh, okay, sorry. okay. I heard better beer too. I was like, wow, damn. <laughs> damn <laughs> crap 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 I know. Googling women. Googling women. <laughs> better beer. Man. I mean, what's, what's wrong with Googling women? I, I Google women. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's I Google wrong. myself. I'm like, yeah. what's. What's on the scope One search result. <laughs> Who's that right there? MySpace. Adriana. You know, no, Adrian. Is it Adrian? Adrian. Adrian. That was, like, you can't look at him like that. That wasn't his fault. That was his fault. Adriana, Adriana. No. He, he kept telling him it was Adrian. No. <laughs> you know, he should have. He, like, he, he, he should have. He should have. He should have. He should have. Exactly. Thank you. He should have already known your name from the beginning. Yeah. That's what it was. That's what it was. No, I've heard her name. No, it's very common because my name is hard to say for some people. Adriana? They're like, no. Adriana, but it's not even Adriana, it's Adriana. Adriana. Like, yeah, and people are like, Adriana, 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 Adriana. 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 Call me Adriana. AD or Soto. So my, most of my friends call me Soto. They're like, what's up, Soto? And I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, Soto. I go by Soto. Mm. Okay. Where'd that come from? <laughs> her last name. Her last name. <laughs> no, that's not your last name anymore. Yes. <laughs> I didn't change my last name. Yeah, she's, she's Latina, bro. It's hyphenated. That's my stuff. Soto Vasquez. And Vasquez stands for my mom's name, actually. Really? Yeah. Hmm. We were like, are we cousins? We had an uncle who had a missing finger. Like, before we, before we lock this down, do we need to do like a lineage, like yeah, a genealogy? That was weird. Because we got the same last name. Like, her mom has the same last name, but it's spelled different. Ah, uh, okay. It's With two the, Z's. I have, uh, I have an S and a Z in mine, and hers uh -huh. is two Z's. So we kind of freaked out for a minute. We were like, we're like are you fucking cousins? <laughs> no, no, like, like literally fucking. It's like coming out of finger. It's not like, coming. Like, 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 we're like, fucked oh, up. Shit. It's too it's late kind, now. It's kind of convoluted. I, I, yeah. There's a story I always tell about uh, one of my good friends in high school. So her, I had two, two good friends in high school, and their parents both got divorced. And then they both got together, like the the, the mom and the mom from one and the dad from the other got together, right? <laughs> but uh, the siblings, both of them, were already dating at the time before they got married. And so they're like, hey, we decided. They, they were like, they had like a talk. Like, hey, we're gonna get married, and I know 
you guys are together, that's fine. We don't want to break, break you guys up. This is where I go. But it's like it puts like a weird like overtone on like not a sister. There's they're a like movie about that. Like, are they like... Really? No, no, no. They're they're once uh, from Bolivia. You know, from uh, she's like from Nicaragua. Oh, they used to that shit out there. No, whoa, whoa, they used that shit. <laughs> you really you're quit hating your Nicaragua mean, fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the title this isn't true. They is true. It is had gone. to start like that at some point. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't pan out. Anyways. Could have been there. We they were Dallas destined to fail. Talk on shit talk right now. We're yeah. Dallas shit talk. <laughs> Dallas shit talk. Right no, this is drunk in public. Talking shit. Drunk in public. Talking shit in public. Uh, episode two. No, but I think for the overall the podcast, it's kind of like tied in. Uh, you know, we started out just with humble beginnings and just talking about whatever. And I think the more and more we kind of explore like the craft beer scene, we're never going to be the ones that are going to be like the Mister Fru Fru about like, oh well, you know, this is a. a not the, the maple notes aren't coming through on this. We're just more. Yeah. We want to try good beer and just talk shit and just be normal, down to earth people. So it's more yeah. about like the the social experience and like the actual. I think that's how we are in life. Yeah, I think that's how we. That's how I was kind of drawn to you because I saw y'all on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I was looking at home. Rarely we have like two followers. Yeah. So that's you know. Nine. One of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever get lights? It's probably right. me. Um, Every time. <laughs> yeah, I was I was on YouTube. I was looking up home brewing stuff. I was just getting into home brewing, and like I just brewed like my second or third batch when I actually contacted you. Yeah. So I just randomly saw you. I was like, these dudes are fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh, cool. Appreciate it, man. It was really nice to like watch him like like something, because he's like really into music and like that's what we're him like attracted me to. Like literally, we were at a lawn and this dude was like playing a guitar, and I was like, oh. like dang, puppy. And that's how we met. But like, it's what, like high school. No, it was after high school actually. We um, so we went to the same high school together. We never d- talked. W two white. Never knew each other. Never talked. You were the Chola uh, gang. We had, we had, we had, uh, white people hipster like, gang. Mutual friends. Mutual friends. Mutual friends. Oh, you're friends. Guns. So one of our mutual friends was actually in Dallas now. He was in Arizona for a while. His name's Josh. Um, we we're at his house. We we're all just chilling, sitting there talking, just shooting the shit. My boyfriend dropped me off. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna go visit oh, my boyfriend." Oh, left his girl unattended. Yeah. Scoop her up, Fuck you Ryan. Fuck <laughs> you Ryan Lopez. Yeah, fuck you Ryan Lopez. <laughs> Double. That's a doubler. Living, living off the of daddy. No matter what angle we got on that one. Yeah. Was a white boy? No. His dad's just super rich. His dad owns a. So, Mr. Studio Girl, what's going on, Mr. Studio Girl? This is this dude, this is dude, Lord <laughs> Third. That's Jacob, that's Jacob, 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 Jacob. You know how when he picked me up, he was like, I was like, have you met Jacob? He's like, yeah, don't talk to him. And I was like, why? He's real cool. He steals all the girls. He's like, he's like, no, nah, I don't like him and stuff like that. Who couldn't like, love this man? This is a adorable cool man. man. I'm not very approachable. She was like, you looked mean when I first saw you. Because I, I guess I have resting dick face or something. <laughs> resting dick face. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> It was just so weird. It was like a match made in heaven. You know? like, she was like always like, like, my friends knew him, and I was, him like, and I was looking at him like, Ugh. Ugh. just grunting at each other. What's up? What's up? Ooh. I play guitar. Oh, yeah. right. yeah. there you go. Was, that was yeah. cool. It was, it was cool. Sorry, Ryan. Nah, it's all right. <laughs> nah, nah. It's too late now. Fuck Ryan. He should be apologized. You can't take that back. He should be apologized. I was just like, you should have dropped me off. That's right. Why did he drop you off? And left. That's weird. What was he doing? That was more fun hanging out with him. He was like, can I? I was like, no, I just kind of like my friends. Like, I wanted personal oh, he, space. Oh, he oh, didn't want to hang out. You don't want to hang out. He you don't like him with his with your friends? So you want to do your own. He want to do your He own was thing. a fuck buddy, okay? Yeah. Was there you go. Was Bye, like, Ryan. Ryan, just Bye. come out for over here. Bye. I need a ride. Now you're Dallas Beer Talk famous, so. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So, yeah, oh, my God. I want to be. We, <laughs> That's good talk. That's We came from humble beginnings. Yeah. We're gonna stay humble and just uh, drink some beers. Oh, you know what? Fun. I want to show you our new gimbal. So we go when we go to your uh, support all your uh, adventures. Uh, oh, did you stuff. get it in? Yeah. You showed it to me online. Oh, it's like a steady cam, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me, me too. So we gonna wrap it up here in a second. Oh. So. Chale. Chale vato. Yeah, so we get to hang out and actually take some B-rolls. So that's what I want to do today. We want to go to Deep Bellum. That's your wizard stick, though? Yeah, that's my that's wizard stick. I'm going to take that's some B-rolls. Cool. So we're going to take some B-roll with us so we can have our new intro for Drunk in Public yeah. with this. Sure. Boom, boom. Not cripping, just cripping. <laughs> Not cripping. Right. Uh, cripping and tripping, baby. Andrew, like, <laughs> intro, dude. You're kind of you're a little bit quieter than 
until they get to know you. Then you're, yeah. Then you're like. That's what everybody says. Cause I, I get a little bit crazier, like uh, outside of. Uh, <laughs> I'm the same the, way. Yeah. But like, uh, I feel like it's, it's the re I think the reason for it is because Victor's so like crazy. I gotta be the one to be like, she don't fuck this up for us, Victor. I gotta like, I gotta like, I gotta like, I gotta offer the other side perspective. Like Victor, I'm with you. We'll talk shit after. Yeah, you Yo, what's up, Victor Santana with Dallas? We're talking fuck Nicole Wagwins. Uh, what's that guy's no, name? Like My co host. <laughs> and like, no, all inclusion. Yeah. I like me. Like, I like people are too, man. I just don't yeah. like Argentinians. I don't wipe my, my ass with their flag. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Think about Lionel Messi, bro. Who? Lionel Messi. Bro. He ain't shit. Oh, man. He's, he's, his mama ain't shit. His pappy ain't shit. His brother ain't his shit. Pappy. <laughs> his pappy. His pappy. Anyways, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, fun episode with Thank uh, you, Frank. Frank. Episode two with uh, Adrian and uh, Jake. <laughs> Asia and Jacob. It was fun. We'll see you guys later. And uh, fuck Ryan, guys. See y'all later. <laughs> fuck Ryan. Thank you. Peace. I'm out. Well, I've never synchronized. Well, so this is part two of Drunken Public uh, episode oh, two. Hey, what's going on? As we were focused on our sequence of snapping. Yeah. You know, as Speakers, I was sweating. Get out of here. Sweating over here. Yeah. And we have polos on this time, not shirts. Yep. Flexing. Got the Nike fit. Nike sponsored baby dry fit. You know. You're welcome. Yeah. Tiger Woods is one of our main uh, investors. Advocate. He really likes what we're doing. He likes the beers. Yeah, he likes the beers. So you came back from Austin? Yes. I, uh, moving. Moving. I'm, I'm moving to Austin, guys. So I'm leaving this place behind. Fuck this shitty beer. That's what no, you said, yeah. right? Mm, it's good beer. I uh, went with my friend Brett who's moving to Austin. Uh, I Have I met Brett before? The background story. Yeah, you've never met him. Uh, Actually, I never met any of your friends. Actually, honestly, besides like your wife and her family. Everybody's over there in Fort Worth, man. On the other side of town. Um, but anyway, so so my friend and his girl had like a little falling out. So Brent's she, girl. Yeah. And so they she basically like made him kick, kind of kick them out a little bit. Cold blooded. Cold blooded for sure, for sure. But that's a whole other topic. And, and so anyway, so wait, he, it, it prompted him, so he had an offer to go down to Austin to, to work for Amazon. Ooh, don't do that. And uh, Amazon is a shitty company right now. Yeah, Who's they, the guy who yeah, employment. If, uh, Elon Musk is not Amazon, he's Tesla, right? Who's the guy who owns uh, Amazon? Jeff Bezos. Fuck you, Jeff Bezos. 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 Actually, fuck, I love you. Sponsor. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, we love you. But listen to this guy. Sponsor me. I'll wear, I'll wear your name t- tattooed right here on my arm, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. For the right price. But no, so we ended up, he, he got a, a job offer down there a while back. Okay. And then so after the falling out with his girl happened, he's like, you know what, I think we're we'll going to go ahead and take the job. So he's going to be moving out there. He, okay, he's got a one bedroom apartment in a, a bum ass area. It's pretty nice in West Austin. So the, up in the hills. Yeah, the beautiful side of Austin. Yeah, like, yeah. Real nice. How much you think? I don't, I don't know. 1500. He's like gonna be right around there with his like utilities and his pet uh, rent and stuff like that. Austin's mad expensive right now. Yeah, it's pretty. Good. It's like basic New York for New York prices right now. Like New York prices when I left New York. It's wild. So he's gonna be doing all that. Stuff. All the companies are moving there, man. Every like the the floodgates of people moving there. Mm-hmm. That's why it's, it's, it's ridiculous. The tra- the traffic there is ridiculous on 35 over there. Like it's dumb over there. It's like dumb busy. It was super busy over there. We luckily we're, we're kind of able to avoid going through like downtown Austin. Kind of like dipped around the outside to go to the west part. Because he got a, he's on by the hillside. Yeah. So we ended up going into Austin, moving him in, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, it was kind of nice. I we didn't do a whole whole lot of exploring. We got there down there a little bit late on Tuesday. Uh, we did the moving. Woke up a little bit late. We stayed up kind of late Tuesday night. Woke up a little bit late on Wednesday. Kind of hanging out. Finished unpacking some of the big stuff. And then we were, we were grubbing out during the, during the day. But uh, we stopped off over at like a, it was like a little growler station. Similar like, uh, we're here at uh, Cats and Growler. You guys can tell. But, Shout out. Uh, we, we have another spot similar to Crap and Growler where they, you know, they have the tap list and all that stuff. And, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so uh, I tried, it was my goal to try some of the Austin specific beers that we can't get. You, you like anything you like? You, you like anything? Do you like anything that you like? Anything that I like, I like. <laughs> I say that much. But no, so it was a, what did I try? I tried a, um, some kind of like hazy sort of any style, any style IPA and it was pretty good. Mm. Um, I heard like that. I mean, I'm, not, I'm hearing from, not from brewers, but you know, everybody that drinks craft beer here love Austin 
the breweries out there in Austin. There's a lot, dude. Like, I'm looking at their board. Like, they say just in Austin, Texas, there's a lot. So I tried some Shout out stuff. to uh, Pine Hub. That's why they just opened up in Austin a few weeks ago. And they already have, like, I, I'm, I'm underestimating it. Like, I'm just guessing. Billions. Billions of, billions billions of breweries. Billions of breweries. They, I think they have, like, 10 breweries on there. And they just launched out there, like, a few weeks ago. And it's like, if you look at the app, uh, it's ridiculous. They have a bunch of breweries and just launched. But that's not even touching how many breweries are out there. Say if they have 10, I'm pretty sure when I looked at the list, because I printed out the list of all the breweries, I want to say like 50 of them are just in Austin. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like every one that I hadn't heard of, I was like, where is that from? I'm like, oh, Austin. It's something, it's something we don't get over here. Mm -hmm. And it was funny, when I was down there at the, at the spot, the coasters they gave us were Petty Cola's coasters. And it was like, oh, take us beer vacation, beer vacation with us, and for a limited time, Petty Colas will be in the Austin market. It was weird because they had brought down some kegs from Petty Colas because they don't normally ship beer down to Austin. Tough competition. Uh, I, mean, I don't know about that, but I would uh, imagine. I don't know. But, Guessing, all guesswork. Yeah, all guesswork. Um, we'll ask Chad from Petty Colas when we see him tomorrow. But excuse me, um, they had brought down some kegs, and it was weird because they were like. Um, they had like a couple, they had like a Velvet Hammer still on tap. Okay, classic. Uh, sit down or I'll sit you down and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I, I can tell a guy that, you know, uh, from Dallas area, but he was like, yeah, they brought some kegs down. And it was real cool to try, they were still trying to test the market down here to see if it's worth it and stuff. So. But uh, yeah, it was kind of funny seeing that as like an exotic choice. It's like Petty Colas, whatever. When we drink it all the time. We drink it here all the time. <laughs> ah, Petty Colas. Boy, do we love Petty Colas right Yeah, I almost got that. Uh, they have one up there right now. I want to say it's like number five. I remember the name i can't see the board of course where we're sitting at um but it was a petty colas i wanted to try yeah up there i don't think i've tried it yet there's one i saw the other day that i hadn't heard of that i hadn't tried it. like the winter whatever one i don't think i've oh, tried winter, it winter vengeance yeah. yeah have you tried it, I tried it yet, yeah i haven't tried it yeah i used to go along that whole winter uh, christmas in july kind of what is with that why did everybody start I doing that no that, that came out of nowhere if it, to me it came out of nowhere like i'll be honest it makes me mad when i hear christmas in july because one, we're over here in Texas sweating our balls off, and they're over here talking about like Christmas. Also, you have no AC, so that's why yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, so start that GoFundMe to help me support and get AC back for my children. I heard that. Yeah. I will post a link in the description. That's right. It's just, uh, it's just uh, my PayPal account. It's a little thing. Device line. It's called. Uh, it's Where called Deezus and Mario used to be on, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Have you watched, have you heard any of their stuff since they went to the No, show new time? show. Has it already been released? Nope, nah, I haven't seen anything. What show? I'm just curious whether or not they released any of their stuff yet on Showtime. Nope, they still have their podcast. Hey, why are you, okay, all right guys, I want everybody to remember, Victor hates whenever people get mad at breweries for selling out. It's not, I don't think oh, they sold out. He gets, <laughs> he gets mad when, uh, whenever Small breweries get bought out by big, big, uh, big beer. I don't get mad about that. No, see, he, he doesn't. He, he thinks that that's okay. He's not mad at them for getting bought out, but he gets mad at his boys Jesus and Mero. But once he claims the love, and <laughs> yeah, whenever they, I didn't uh, say that. Whenever I, they get making it big time, making that money at shows. I never said they sold out. Hey, I never said. On Jesus? I know. <laughs> Real quick, which, which one's your favorite, Jesus or Mero? Jesus. Jesus. I like Mero better. So you can be Jesus. I'm darker than you. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I, I don't fit any of their profile because I'm not dark enough for either one. It's true. Yeah, you know, and I'm also not Jamaican. It's true, but you like cool runnings. Cool. <laughs> no, I don't think they sold out. It does. I mean, I have a love for Jamaican beef patties and cocoa bread. You don't bread. think any of you sold out, to be fair. You don't think the, the brewery sold out. No, but it depends what you think of selling out. If you sell out because they, they're having a wider distribution or they're compromising their value. You don't know what their value is, so you don't know that conversation. What about these? I don't know what their value is, so I don't think they're compromising or selling out. What I think it is, as I said before on the last show, uh, when we finally last talked about this, is you're going to be the number one show on uh, Viceland yeah. or a nowhere to be announced show on Showtime right now. They know where to be found. But they're getting paid, bro. Are they? We don't know. Oh, come on, they're not yeah. gonna go. No, they got a signing, probably got a signing bonus, but I'm pretty sure there's no air they're shows getting, right now. They're getting that uh, Odell Beckham in it. Ah, no, I don't think so. Odell Beckham gap is gonna get paid. They're getting uh, that, uh, who got paid recently? Uh, oh, Saquon Barkley? No, no, no. Uh, for the Rams, Todd Gurley. He got paid. Oh, he got paid. He got paid that guarantee. He got uh, paid. Bill guarantee. That's a lot. Dude, that's, that's, a, everybody, that's, that's all that matters in contracts. 
like the supposed to be NFL. Well, NFL, you need, you need that guaranteed money. Yeah. You could like, freaking break your leg. 40 mil, though. 40 guaranteed? Mil. Guaranteed? Guaranteed? <laughs> guaranteed. I guaranteed that man got that <laughs> Guaranteed. It's ridiculous, man. That's impressive. I'm happy for that, man. Yeah, get that. My friend Corey Washington just got married. See that? First, yeah. Fuck up, you got married. I mean, first, first, first <laughs> Congrats to you, sir. But uh, that was a dumb move on the fantasy football front. Bro, already drafted. You don't know who's going to get hurt in yeah. preseason. Oh, you didn't get, who's going to get cut? They had, they had their first preseason game. That's what I thought. Why? Why would they want to be announced? Maybe it was like a like a logistics thing. They had their friends come to draft or something. He said they drafted already, and I've never heard of that. Maybe, okay, maybe, did they, maybe they drew their picks. No, he showed me like an ESPN app. His team? His team. Okay, yeah, fucking idiot. Who do you pick? And Tom Brady. I can't remember the rest of his team. I just remember Tom Brady's his quarterback. And he has two solid running backs. And so they get hurt. And you don't know if they get hurt. And the first. That's why I've always drafted. Game. Do you always draft the last preseason week? That's how I always drafted. I drafted after preseason's over, like right before the, the season starts. That's how we did last year. My, my oh, life. I forgot. Well, I'm so used to all my. Are you in for this year too, by the way? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, okay. But all my teams that like uh, I've ever played fantasy football for, we always did it either the last week of fantasy football, like either it's it ends that that Sunday or uh, the week after. You mean for preseason football? Yeah. Like the last week of preseason we draft? Yeah, yeah. Or the week after? Like, but yeah. usually it's that last week yeah. of preseason we draft. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you do because it's not fair that the people, like, if you have like a first round pick and this person gets hurt. And in, in, in practice. Preseason or practice or something. One of the things I was going to say is the one I want to touch on, and then we start doing a little theme of, start doing a top five picks. I'm going to come up with a theme every week top five candy bars. Top five superheroes. Anything. I'm like ah, top five. That's Something the thing. quick. Yeah, we're gonna do the top five real quick. Let's go with top five candy bars right now. Let's do it. Anyway, all right, cool. All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with a, with a sleeper. Coming in number one, it's gonna be a whatchamacallit. You ever had a whatchamacallit? Never even heard of that sleeper, one. Sleeper, bro. Very good. Try it out. Whatchamacallit. Uh, two, I'm probably gonna go with, I like the, the, the cookies and cream white chocolate. Oh, you're talking about Hershey's cookies yeah. and cream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah classic, good. classic. Solid, solid. Um, can't go, you can't forget three. about Twix. Twix is solid, bro. Twix, not yours, not yours. Oh, man, what? I'm trying to think of some good ones, though. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put, uh, I'll put Reese's, and then I'll put Twix, and then... What else am I missing? I feel like you got one, one more. You got one more. I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like I'm just gonna say Kit Kat at the bottom. A little Kit Kat. Okay. Okay. You talking to a little fat boy at heart? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm also really fat, but but at heart, he's, he likes <laughs> I'm fatter. I'm like so sleeper. much fatter. <laughs> no. Uh, Milky Way. Twix. Oh, okay. That's what. I, okay. I scratched my last one. I meant to say Milky Way instead of. Wait, did I say Milky Way? No, you did not. In any of it. Nope. I love Milky Way. We re replay the tape. We go replay the tape. All right, uh, scratch the Kit Kat, put a Milky Way in there. And he did not say Milky Way. Um, so uh, Milky Way, Twix, uh, Snickers. I love Snickers. Uh, uh, Seventy percent, not seven percent. Um, Hershey's dark chocolate one. The special dark. The special dark. I love that one. Uh, God, now I'm thinking of like I see all these candy bars in my head. Mm -hmm. Like the Dove one is really good. The dark chocolate Dove one is really good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's really with the, the dark chocolate with caramel in it. Oh, that's really good, man. Yeah. Um, um, oh, oh, um, Junior Mints. I know it's not a candy bar, but no, that makes it's not a it's not a bar. But it's uh be the, the chocolate and mint. There's a few bars out there. I just can't think of any name, but you something like Junior Mints. Peppermint Patty. Peppermint. For number five, Peppermint Patty. Peppermint Patty. <laughs> you know, remember those commercials? What do you do for a contact bar? Yeah. You Some would... strange ass shit. <laughs> that's what it does. They should. It's kind of like, go ask crackheads what they would do for a contact bar. That'd be a great segment. <laughs> what would you do for a contact bar? You get a mic and be like, well, welcome to a bump. It's like, what do you do for a contact bar? <laughs> I mean, uh. Human rights abuse watch like comes after us because we're like exploiting people. YouTube will take us down. Horrible, horrible, horrible people at that point. No, that's a good one. We need to do that every week. Heard that? We do that uh, when we hang out with the Dallas yeah, Bear Squad. I was thinking. Oh shit! I almost dropped I'm that. Think of a good top five. Good top five. But something easy, you know. That's fun. Like stuff like that. Yeah. 
Very good, very good. Yeah, there's some other stuff I want to talk about, which I'll save for when we sit down with the uh, beer The beer squad. squad. We're going to be hanging out with the beer squad with Penny, at Pentacles, not with Pentacles, at well, Pentacles. At Pentacles. Yeah. About it. So, Basically. But yeah, there's some stuff I want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll probably save it for next time. What do you think? We, we want to keep on going? We finished our beer? We can run. Um, We'll save, we'll, we'll save those. those we'll save for the rest of it. Yeah, we'll save it for, for next week. I want to thank Jacob and uh, Adriana for coming. Adriana, she's going to kill me if I say Adrian. Yeah. Uh, for coming on, hanging out with the first half of this episode. I do appreciate that. I love you guys. Everybody have a safe weekend. Uh, also, uh, National IPA Day just passed, so drink an IPA. I did my best to try, but y'all, uh, find what you like. Peace. <laughs>